Yo, it's your boy the Android Doctor back again with another video guys. Okay, so yesterday I made a video showing how to fix the problem with the apps crashing. So I showed in that video how to fix it and what you had to do, you had to go into the settings and you had to locate apps and then locate the app manager and then locate Chrome and disable Chrome but a lot of people have left in the comment section of that video that they cannot disable Chrome so I'm going to show you how to actually disable it if you cannot disable it okay so first thing download minimal adb and fastboot you do not need root to do what i'm about to show you guys so just download this i will leave a link to it in the description down below just download it and then go ahead and double click on it to get it set up and installed then hit next hit next again and then hit next, keep hitting next, install, and then finish. Okay, so it will have installed to the C drive. So let's go ahead and go to the C drive. Program files x86. So it should be here. There it is, minimal ADB and fastboot. So just remember that it's installed on the C drive in the x86 folder. Okay, so that's set up and we're ready to go. Next, just go to your phone and go into the settings and then scroll down, scroll down to where it says about device. Come on camera focus. Then go to software info and you're going to look for the build number and just keep tapping it you have to tap it roughly about seven times until it says you are now a developer and then go back and go back and look for the developer option options these options should now have been unlocked so go into there developer options and we need to find okay so at the top turn it on hit okay come on okay so turn it on up there at the top and then we need to find usb debug debugging mode turn that on hit okay so that's now set up Okay, so what you're going to do now is you're going to go back to the C drive. Local disk C where the minimal ADB is installed. Program files x86. Minimal ADB and fastboot folder. And then anywhere in here, in this blank space, you're just going to press shift on your keyboard and right click on your mouse. So shift on the keyboard and right click on your mouse in the blank space. Then this little box is going to pop up. Select open command window here. Okay. So now you're just going to connect your USB cable to the phone and to the PC. So let me just do that real quick. So I'm just going to connect it. Just like that. And then in this little box, you're just going to type A, D, B, space, D, E, V, I. CES ADB devices just like that and then hit enter 
and then it will give you a list of attached devices on the phone just go ahead and hit OK when that little dialog box pops up okay so I'm just going to show you all something real quick let me just go back into apps application manager Chrome okay so my Chrome is enabled at the moment I do have the option to disable it but it's enabled at the moment okay so after I do this it should then be disabled okay so let me just move all this out of the way okay so I have a command here to disable Google Chrome I will leave this command in the description so just go to the description down below and copy the command from there and all you're going to do now is just paste the command into this black window and then hit enter and it should say packet package com android chrome new state disabled user okay so now when i go back into the settings and go back to apps application manager and chrome as you can see guys it has now been disabled so now to fix the actual crashing issue just simply go to the play store like i showed in the previous video type in system web view and then update it And once it's updated, all you have to do is now just restart the device and your problem with all your applications constantly crashing should now be fixed. It's as simple as that guys. So yeah, let me know in the comment section down below if this fixed the issue for you. Um, like I said, when I made the video before, it fixed, if you go through the comment section, it fixed the issue for a lot of people. But one or two people said they don't have the option to disable Chrome. So that's the reason why I've made this video now to show you how you can disable Chrome using the ADB commands. Anyway, it's your boy, the Android Doctor, and I hope this really does fix your problem. If it does, let me know. If it doesn't, let me know in the comments, and I will try find another fix. Anyway, I'm out. See you in the next video. Deuces.